Hello everybody and welcome to this video. I am joining you today with a topic which I think that uh, many people will find useful sitting at home during these lockdown times. Uh, all of us have turned into master chefs and we are prepare, preparing some delicious food at home and I have had a lot of uh, listeners, a lot of uh, uh, people from our page asking me about how you can resist yourself from eating the things that you can't resist. Some people have a lot of sugar addiction, some people have addiction to sweets, some people have addiction to spicy food. Uh, and it's not only food food addictions right addictions like smoking or drinking or any other addiction uh, NLP as a science because it deals with the way our unconscious mind is programmed has a lot of strategies and po very powerful techniques which can support a person even give up addictions forget about cravings so in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you why do people go through cravings and I'm also going to be sharing with you a very uh, interesting way a strategy in which you can change the way you're looking at something and you can reduce the pull of that certain food or certain drink and you can give that up for good so if you're interested in learning this strategy watch this video till the end hi Vikram Rizwan please like and share this video if you're liking this content hi Pratik uh, Please type in where you are joining from uh, because we have people from all over the world. Please uh, type in where, where you are joining, what do you do so that even I can know you a little better. Uh, going forward with cravings and addictions. So uh, I remember once a lot, many many years ago I had this addiction of uh, Golgappas or Pani Puri. For the international audience these are little crispy um, 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 puris or what do you call it bread fried bread with a lot of spicy water in it and I was completely addicted to pani puri I remember coming home from work I would eat pani puri every day and one day I saw news of uh, something on the news and it said uh, there was a, a scandal on the news where a pani puri person was apparently caught using the same vessel for preparing pani puri as well as for his uh, morning routine his rituals right so I was so disgusted so scandalized and from my mind my entire neurology was repulsed by this instance and you will not believe it for a long long time I could not even touch Pani Puris so it went from completely loving it and just not being able to resist Pani Puri to uh, I can't even bear to think about Pani Puri so if you want to give up a craving or you want to give up an addiction it's important to understand why do you even feel that craving why do you feel that addiction hi Nitin hi Piyosh please like please share this video if you're liking the content I'm making coming back why do you feel tempted to eat certain things or why you why do you feel attracted if you like anything how are you looking at it in your mind's eye? I think the modern marketers, not just the modern marketers, marketers from across, from, the, from many, many centuries know how to make you buy a certain product because they are playing around with your mind. Think about it. Think about the pizza ad on television. How does the pizza look on television? Whenever the, you know, it's like a slice, it's literally coming out of the television and there is cheese that's oozing out of the pizza and the colors in the vegetables are vivid there's steam coming out of it it almost feels like you want to take that piece from the television and you want to just eat it up right so they create a very appealing mental image of something that you will find irresistible whether it's clothes or it's food or anything else that you're addicted to that you're craving what it means actually is that in your mind's eye you're looking at that in a very very appealing way it looks yummy to you it looks and sometimes you're able to smell the food sometimes you're able to even feel the taste of that food in your mouth and the entire lot makes you go out there and reach out for that food and eat it up and have absolutely no resistance whatsoever so if you want to get yourself to have resistance before we move on hi Ria hi Piyush so uh, please type in if uh, you would like to give up an addiction if it's a food addiction or any addiction why don't you type out the name of that food item that you would like to give, give, in, uh, give up is it some kind of uh, sweet is it chocolate is it a coffee is it tea is it alcohol what do you want to learn to give up please type it in in the comment section so how do you do it now we will do a quick technique for me to uh, help you understand this 
and uh, for some of you the craving might change right away right if it doesn't then go back and think about it a little more so along with me just think of one food item that you want to give up anything so anything that you eat a lot maybe it's rusk maybe it's biscuits maybe it's bread maybe it's eggs and you feel that it's not productive for your health and you don't want to be eating it so much and you can take a break from it for some time and trust me once this process is done you will not want to i'm not going to spoil it for you today but i'm just going to make its effectiveness much lesser so that you can choose whether to eat or not to eat how many of you would like it if you'd like to have choice please type in a yes in the comment section that yes i would like to have choice over my i would like to have more control over my actions over what i eat or i don't eat i don't want to be the victim or i don't want to be the slave of my addictions or cravings so now think about one food item that you want to give in, give up and close your eyes and just think about how you're seeing it in your mind's eye now let us say i want to give up uh, drinking juice too much juice too much sugar right so it's I have my glass of watermelon juice here in my mind's eye. So just become aware of where you are seeing the food that you want to give up and become aware of how are you looking at it. Is it a colorful picture? Is it a nice cold? Are you feeling the temperature of the juice or the temperature of your food nice and warm or cold or whatever you like? What are the colors in it? Is it uh, is it vivid? Is it bright? Is it close to your face? Yeah, somebody writes I all food <laughs> that's very good nitin yes you must take limited quantity balance is the key right but for a lot of people it is difficult with certain foods so now that you're looking at this this image in your mind's eye what you could do to re- first understand what's making it so tempting for you is it the color is it the taste that you're feeling in your mouth are you getting the aroma of that food when you're thinking about it because as long as this image in your mind is very attractive even before you know it you would have reached out and you would have eaten it or you've had it right so it's you can change how this image is in your head so how do you do that as i'm uh, talking to you right now think of this image and just start making some changes to it and you have the you have the ability to change images in your mind and you can prove it to yourself right now so look at this image now and if it's too colorful like i'm seeing the watermelon juice like really big a uh, j- glass and i'm seeing it cold and i'm seeing all the dew around the glass and i'm seeing it nice i'm feeling the nice sweet cold flavor and the cold uh, texture going down so what i'm going to do is i'm going to tr- try and change its color so i'm going to make the image the watermelon probably brownish in color instead of the bright red i'm seeing right now so here i change the color of the juice i'm going to imagine the dew melting away it's no longer so cold as it was i am imagining the glass becoming smaller moving away from me and just to add some good measure so that i don't find this appealing i'm going to imagine that it's becoming salty because i want to change the flavor of that as well and i as i do that i'm imagining this brown lukewarm juice that's salty in my mouth right now so now i think of the watermelon juice i am seeing a bra- a small picture of a dark brown liquid ooh that's not appealing at all <laughs> and it's lukewarm and it's warm it's 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 just not appealing the moment i look at the watermelon juice that way now frankly i don't feel like drinking that watermelon juice so no matter what you are addicted to what you're craving yes if you have uh, very uh, strong addictions like smoking drinking you probably need a little more support a little more work with a coach or with a trainer or with somebody who can help you overcome that addiction uh, but if it's a small craving this technique is going to work if it's a slightly more uh, it's a bigger addiction then i suggest that you need to learn a little more of nlp and apply it and there are amazing techniques in neuro linguistic programming for this so i hope you did this along with me if you did not do it along with me then go back and pick up a certain food think how you how you're looking just become aware of how you're doing it in your head change its qualities change its temperature change its color change take 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 it away from your face because if the pizza is here you're going to eat it so push it away imagine it like an image somewhere far away from your face and every time you think of a pizza do that the next time you think of a pizza you need to think of that dark 
far off black and white image probably. So you do not feel tempted to dial a Domino's or eat that pizza, right? So I really hope that this video was helpful to you. This is one of the one of the simplest strategies you can use to overcome a craving and meet your health targets that you may have for yourself during this lockdown period. And uh, uh, I would love to know what other top, uh, topics you would want me to make videos on. I'm making live videos and I'm going to keep making them in the future. So if you're interested in any particular topic, you're stuck with something and you want me to make a video, do let me know in the comment section. Uh, for those who wish to learn neuro-linguistic programming in as a whole, you don't want, you're not happy with little strategies and techniques from here and there. You want to transform your life. And this lockdown period is a forced cocoon for all of us. We are all those caterpillars who have gone into cocoon. And wouldn't it be wonderful if we can, if we can come out as butterflies by the time this period is over. So if you really want to do that for yourself, good news is that I have started doing the NLP practitioner certification workshop online now. Uh, so it's a 10 day program with three hours in the evening and it's going to start very soon. So I'm going to leave a link about this workshop at the bottom of this video and I would love to coach you and work with you and help you transform every area of your life to the next level. So have a look at this link and give us a call on the number given in case you have any questions. So thank you very much everybody. I'm really looking forward to meeting you all and seeing you all in another video. Uh, do comment, like and share this video with everybody who you think will find this useful. Thank you and I'm going to see you all very soon in another video. Bye-bye.